it is Ikalex in here. Before we get started, let me say thank you to our patrons. You got Academy, Professors, Edwin, and Jackson. You got Huntsman, Flashy, and you got new recruits, Ollie and Ruder. Anyways, so we are going to be talking about Neo's return today. During the Ruby panel, that was like a month ago, but we've uh, had some problems getting that video out. Uh, so <laughs> they said someone asked about Neo returning. And they said that they couldn't talk about it, which, if you guys know, that basically means, yes, she is, but we can't say anything because it's gonna come up. So, we are gonna be talking about our hopes and dreams for Neo's return. This is not a theory video or anything like that. It is just a, uh, it's, uh, just, we're just having a chat, you know? We're just talking about our wishes. That's all. It's our dreams and our wishes. <laughs> so... Hunter, what would be ideal for you? Okay, so first off, I'm going to preface this by saying I am a Neo fan. Yeah, we are both very much Neo like, fans. It is. I don't exactly know what's so great about her. I think it's the it's it, a, it's the mix between the great... It's the mystery. It's the character, character design, design. It's the fact that she never talks through the mystery. And then there's that fight it's also with how she Yang fights, and yeah. Neo. That's like the best fight in the show. And it yes, is. I will fight you on that. Because <laughs> it's... Anyways. Anyway, people don't understand why I like Neo. Like, we've but had this no. conversation. Neo's pretty great. I, I really like We've it. had this conversation in the Discord chat, like, many a times. And the reason why is basically everything Hunter said, plus I think she's hot. Anyway, uh, uh, so. Yeah, you know, characters. She's cute. Come on. Yeah. So, um. We're going to talk about our hopes and dreams, remember? Yes, our hopes and dreams. So, so, about my hopes. What so, would be ideal for you? So, this is my, like. Wait, can I go first? Okay, go we right We may ahead. have the same idea. Go right ahead. I want Ruby to be in a fight with someone and for Neo to parasol down on her umbrella and kick that person's ass and turn to Ruby and say, I only saved you because you're mine. And that'll be her first, like, angry speaking line. Mine? Yeah. Oh, like, you're to mine kill to kill. Her. Oh, <laughs> what do you I thought mean? it was, like, romantic. <laughs> oh, my like, God. Hunter, and she, pulled, she pulled out roses and I'm like, well, this got really weird really oh, quickly. No. Honey, I was gonna get sweetie. murdered, now I'm gonna get laid. No, that's not what I meant. I meant <laughs> that mine to kill as into like avenge Roman. Well then it'd be your neck. I <laughs> You're mine. Oh my god. <laughs> no, we ruined the video. <laughs> so okay, so I think I have a similar idea. Although I like your I think that first off, I think that when we're gonna see her, she's gonna have a redesign where she's gonna look a little more rugged, a little more uh, 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 emo. I have a feeling she's gonna wear like uh, I don't know. I was gonna say his bowler hat, but he's eaten. Okay, this is kind of uh, this is kind of off topic. So, uh, but give me a sec. Okay. I have a Wikipedia page uh, somewhere out there. You guys can find it. Uh, but it says in my backstory that uh, because my 2D animated movie was canceled because I'm a cartoon character apparently, uh, that I had to resort to whoring myself on the streets of Agrabar for money and to survive. That is what I see Neo doing in between the time that Roman left her because she that doesn't know raises, what to do. That raises more questions than answers. Okay. First off, you have a Wikipedia page. Yeah. Secondly, <laughs> it's something about you whoring yourself in Agrabah. Yeah. Agrabah is the city from Can Hawaii. you put a link to that in the bottom of your video? No. They'll have to find it. It's a scavenger hunt. <laughs> Alrighty then. Anyway. So I want to talk um, about how I The think reason why happen. I said that is because it's reminiscent of what I hope Mio is doing during that time. She's on the streets. She's desperate. She's hungry. Like, Roman has left her. Like, that's I, why she looks all rugged and stuff like I'm, you said. I'm gonna say something. I don't want her to, like, actually prostitute herself. No, like, let's, no. Let's I, be I, have, I have a different theory. I think that it's gonna be less like, oh, look, they just kind of started chilling. Like, hi. We weren't gonna eat you. <laughs> I know. Uh, what so, were you what, saying? What I, what I feel Focus, with, Hunter! <laughs> what I feel with you... Oh, I'm sorry. You're mine. <laughs> So with, with that, I was thinking, <laughs> she's dying here. With that, I was uh, what I was uh, gonna say was that I feel like she, because I mean the last thing she sees is uh, Ruby fighting Roman, and then suddenly Roman disappears. So I feel like Neo will have been chasing after and trying to find Ruby to kill. So I think you're right with that. But as for what she's gonna do, either they're gonna beat her, and she's gonna start talking now. So maybe they're gonna try to fight and beat, and maybe she'll be like, have some epiphany. Maybe we'll get to see the back backstory of Roman and Neo, and maybe it'll be like, no, he didn't really want to go in for that. And maybe Neo will start fight on their side against Salem. This is all just ideas, but that's how I'd like to see where it's like. I like my idea better. Yeah, <laughs> but but she's gonna she's, she's gonna talk. I don't know. That's the one thing we know for sure. So that's my like. Uh, 
Neo theory. But I have another one. And that Neo is actually... This isn't a theory video. It's Neo, hopes and dreams. Neo is actually one... <laughs> One member of the International Ice Cream Assassin's League. Oh my god. So you got gelato. You got mint chip. Here's you got, a whole you got team of ice gum. creams. They're just all ice creams. And they, and, Oreo. And you, they, you Oreo. think Oreo? And you, well, that's a trademark. Is it? You know, yeah. Oreo is a trademark. Okay, cookies and cream, though. That's, cookies and cream, that's, that's legal, a good one. Isn't it? Yeah. That's legal. So then, you know, <laughs> oh they, you think yeah. Salem runs the world? No. The International League of Cookie Assa Ice Cream Assassins. They run the okay, I want to take what you said and I want to change it. Oh, God. What if she is a part of a team of other ice cream people? Ice uh, cream people. Uh, and have you ever seen Have you ever seen the male version of uh, This is off topic. Have you seen the male version of uh, Neo? Oh, here's the second thing I want Looks Neo to be. Um, I want her to be the spring maiden. Okay, so that's maybe something you have to talk about. Yeah. I have no so idea here's what you're why. Going on about. Salem needs four girls, as far as we know. Unless she's gonna stick all the powers into Cinder, which she might do. But there are four. There are only two girls currently in her team roster, right? There is Cinder, who already has the Fall Maiden powers, and then there is Emerald, who may be getting something in the future. I don't know. But um, there needs to be at least four of them, right? Neo would be the third one. Yeah. You know what I mean? And so that's kind of why I want her to be Spring. Um, and I know this is weird, but Spring just kind of fits into her ice cream theme, like, in my head. Like, I, I see... Summer. I, I feel, feel summer. I feel... Summer is ice cream, Like, you know? Spring means, like, pink flowers and pretty stuff and umbrellas because it rains all the time in the springtime. Like, April showers bring May flowers. You know, like, it just... It, I don't know. It she fits a, her, kind of. She has a parasol, which is what you use to keep the sun out in summer. But... Isn't also, it you, still an umbrella? Yeah, it's an umbrella. Can't you still but, use it as an no, umbrella? No, not that because it's like made out of cloth. <laughs> like parasols are made out of cloth well, that, that, that will like still... get wet and oh. damp. And, like it's just parasols that, are just meant sad. to like, stop the sun. Oh, so, that's I mean, very I mean, interesting. So one, she probably, I, I imagine her being the summer maiden. And two, if she was a maiden, don't you think that Salem would have noticed? Her? No, but I'm saying that she'll become one. Oh, Salem will make okay. her into oh, one okay, because yeah, she needs enough. three girls or four, three girls. Yeah, she needs three more girls. The other people I see as maiden candidates are obviously Emerald, and then, I don't know, like, maybe a new character that we haven't really interacted with. Do you have a feeling that, like, maybe this is probably a chance for a theory video, although you tend not to do what I say, so, maybe, well, do you ever get the feeling that, like, Salem's gonna take all the powers for herself? Well, I thought she would insert all the powers into Cinder's body. That was kind of my, uh, feeling of what's gonna happen. I have a weird sensation. Other, that... other things with Neo is I want her to destroy Salem's life and also Ribu's life. Like, I want her to hate everyone that ever got Roman involved in this. Yeah. Right? And so I want her to go after Cinder. I want her to go after Ruby. I just want Neo to Although, destroy the there... fucking world. Also, we're gonna get more information on her backstory. Like, that was the big thing that they were yeah, gonna show you, us. Cause we don't, right? Cause you don't know if she's like, has like a real relationship with Roman. That's just guessing on our part, really. Um. Unless it is. The thing about what Anyways, I, I just wanted to say, I have a weird feeling that uh, Cinder is going to be, like, turn out to be a good guy at the end. Like, uh, what's this like, face like, from Avatar that has yeah. the scar? Yep. Zuko? Yeah. I feel like she might Zuko. Lots, lots of people I, I are feeling that I have a strong right feeling now. that uh, her and Emerald are going to Zuko. One of them. Are. Um, but and here's here's the thing. I think that with Neo, what's going to happen is that, um... Another alternative would be is that we're gonna just see her backstory somehow. Like we're gonna see her a little bit, but maybe it'll be like Ren where we also get some flashbacks. Um, and so we know that we're gonna get Neo's backstory. I'm pretty sure that that was the confirmed reason why we're seeing her soon, is that we're gonna get like part part of her thing with Roman or something. And so I think that um. Backstory wise, what do you think her backstory is? Like, what are your hopes and dreams for her backstory? I imagine maybe she's kind of similar to, uh... Because I want to know why she doesn't speak. And, like, there are lots of reasons why someone will well, I mean, go she, mute. She's just kind of quiet, I think. is Maybe, I don't know, because I feel like they just did that because they couldn't find a voice actress. In time, because they put her yeah. in, like, so a I feel week like that's before not the episode really terribly quant uh, Yeah, if you ever want to know, you can find the story about how... Uh, Neo, I would Neo prefer if she didn't speak and yeah, she had some kind of tragic past, yeah. like of abuse. That I, I, made her I not feel speak. like she's gonna be similar to like 
Emerald, where she was just a street urchin that Cinder Coda sort of picked up. But how cool would it be if Neo was the one in charge? Because if you think about it, like, Neo knew how to drive the airship better than Roman, but she let Roman do it anyway. Neo knows how to fight to an extent better than Roman, and she let him do all the work anyway. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. it seems like when you put everything into perspective that Neo is not the right hand. Like, she's just letting Roman play yeah. as the right hand for a while. Because, like, she you fights get, better get, than him. She can the drive the airship, yeah. right? You but she lets him sense, do all these things. You get the sense that, like, she's just kind of fond of Roman and keeps him around. Because when you think about it's it... It's like, like a little kid, right? Like, oh, like, yeah, yeah you know, Cause when, cause pretend when, to drive the boat or whatever. Like, stuff cause, like that. Because when know? you think about it, like, she beat Yang, and Yang was supposed to be the strongest member of Ruby. And then Roman got beat by Ruby, who wasn't supposed to be the strongest member of Ruby. Yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, like, she probably... I feel like Roman was kind of in the way. Like, she probably could have beat him by herself. Absolutely. To be honest, beat her rather, but I think that what, what I was trying to say is is that I think that with Neo returning, we'll see that she was kind of the one in charge. Because again, it's kind of like with a little kid, like oh, you know, like Roman, if you eat your vegetables, I'll let you drive the airship. Like you know, if it's you, something if that you, you eat would, your vegetables, I'll help you murder. It's it's something that you would do. I feel for a child, like that's you know, like have a child pretend that they that they're they like you know, um. I bet Neo fights against Roman and, like, lets him win, like, to make him happy, you know what I mean? Like, that is the kind of relationship that I think they have, like, for a bunch of reasons, not what, just based on the airship thing, but you can drive better I, than him I'm and we know that. What I'm also interested about is that learning more about Neo, because we see with her eyes, like, I've read a lot of Neo fanfiction, and a lot of people think that she has, like, multiple personalities. Yeah, I, I like that her, theory, like, but that's for a theory, not yeah, for right so now. Yeah, so I'm just saying, like, that would, it would, be, lies, it would be interesting to see stuff like this confirmed. Also, what do you think she sounds like? Um, I actually kind of want her to have, like, a high voice. I imagine her having more of, like, a venomy voice. And maybe if they go with the multiple personalities, one will be cheeky, one will be, like, high-pitched, and the other will be very good. Sort of I just, I would love to voice Neil. That's why I want to voice <laughs> I can't voice someone that badass. Um, but yeah. You guys kind of get, uh, get the idea. I would like her to have... You know what we should have? Voice it? Who? Me doing my Glinda smoker cough. Oh my god. I, I just like every new female character should just be voiced by me doing a smoker's voice. I kind of want her to have like this strong, powerful voice, but at the same time, I know I don't have that. Like, <laughs> I just, know my voice is very high. You just desperately high. want to you become know, like, a voice actor. If I, if I for do it, yeah. If I do it enough, like I can do Ruby's like high voice, like without that much effort. Like Lindsay's voice is naturally low. My voice is very high. And so I will never be able to sound like a strong female character, you know what I mean? Like, anyway. anyways, so uh, in, conclusion. in conclusion, I think that we're both excited about Neo coming oh, I'm back. Super excited. I um, come back. We're going to have theories about Neo in the future, obviously, but I think that this is more of a just like, again, this is this kind of these kind of videos are going to be more of our hopes and dreams. Um, it, because this was kind of talked about at the panel, I felt it needed some special, special attention. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's mostly just hopes and dreams. Uh, anyway, uh, thank you to our patrons, uh, Academy Professor Jackson, uh, and Edwin, and, uh, Huntsman to your Flashy, and, uh, new recruit Solly and Ruder for supporting me on Patreon. And so, you guys are watching this on Saturday, which means the water stuff is, uh, happening right now, the water <laughs> live stream. Y'all should go watch that instead of watching this. <laughs> anyway. But watch this first. We like money in every way. <laughs> I mean, they've already watched it if they're listening to us Fair right enough. now. Anyway, guys, uh, we will see you later. Thank you. Just thank you for supporting us over Instead this time. Instead of because... re-watching this multiple times, first watch that water live stream and then re-watch this multiple times. It's nice With to have... the ads and click the ads. It's nice to have Hunter back. This is Hunter's kind of like first official kind of return from his sickness. Mm -hmm. You guys have gotten enough of Al. I've seen some sad faces in the comments. Like, oh. I feel you. Don't worry. Oh. And so... They do care. Just, I want to say thank you for supporting us. And they us. hate Al. That's the great part. <laughs> I just want to say thank you for supporting us uh, while Hunter's oh. been away and that's kind of all I wanted to say. So oh. anyway, guys, uh, we'll see you later. Bye. Sweet.